Hi guys, welcome to JD and the Sump Sea. You know, in this video, we're gonna be painting this. Managed to get it right this time. Pretty exciting. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. So anyways, um, yeah, here we are. Priming? Man, this piece is really coming together. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit of a longer video, but uh, I wanted to add some stuff. I've been getting some requests that they want to see my work a little bit slower. So I figured, what the heck, you know, we'll make a little bit longer video for you guys. Um, this has been quite a piece. Um, yeah, here's metallics that we're spraying on. So we quite a bit of spraying going on, and now we're, um, yeah, after the metallics, we're gonna be doing the tiles in my standard yellow. Um, well, it's actually, uh, yeah, I guess you could say yellow, mustard color. Um, it leaves the other spot pieces uh, a little bit more so you can see them uh they stand out the tile kind of sucks in there so yeah here we go we got the metallics the tile color and we got the gray going on right now um that's going to be uh to enhance the uh the the other colors i'm about to be putting on um yeah we have an orange here uh that's ton of fun so we've got a yellow i guess what the heck is going on okay yeah anyways uh go to blue what is going on this is crazy <laughs> i really don't i don't understand what's happening yeah so a couple of different angles here on the blue a little bit of slow a little bit of speed up uh figured i'd give you guys something to to watch you know a little bit and you know yeah here we are we're starting with the reds i, I don't understand what's going on with that yellow that i did up top there that <laughs> should be bright yellow huh. such a weird thing oh well anyways um yeah we're gonna spot color up the uh all our little pieces on this here um uh it's going to be really bright at this stage. Um, I'm going to be doing quite a bit of work with oils on this one. Um, yeah, this one didn't get any powders. Um, I wanted a little bit more of a coming out of the sump look. Um, oh, yeah, here's a pretty purple. So anyways, um, yeah, and that's hobbies. There we are, breakfast place. Yeah, on the inside there, I even got a grill that I 3D printed, which was pretty cool yeah um i wanted to make sure uh th this piece i always see coming out um under the and here we go we're doing the sump what what the heck is going on what the heck is going on oh i know what it is i still have the green screen filter up crazy so anyways um got that taken care of uh yeah that's part of my green screen uh little thing on obs uh, totally didn't realize that it was <laughs> that it was on um yeah so here we go got some sub work going on um that texture that i did during the build is is working real well but uh, anyways what i was saying is i want this piece to look like um at, at some point the tides of the planet cover this with the sump and that's it's one of the ways that i kind of figure that uh, uh big boats and everything get around in the sump so you know when the, the tides up you know then the big boat sailing away when the tide goes down it kind of goes into a kind of a lock kind of a system where it just kind of sinks down to where it needs to do then they do the unloads and um you know and then you know 
try to get it out there before the, the tide rises again and covers everything. So yeah, that, that's kind of the look that I was going for on this. Um, yeah, so it's going to be screaming bright at this point. Um, I'm pretty... Oh, there we are. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know what I'd do without him. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, but yeah, we're on a poster work and uh, graffiti. Uh, once again, uh, I wanted to kind of highlight this a little bit. This this piece, because it is so basic, I mean, really, it, I've, I've done quite a bit to get it um, upgraded from just crates on a piece of detrius. Um, but, you know, in the end, it's still just crates on a piece of detrius. Uh, so, you know, it, it, you, you try to try to liven it up a little bit, you know, but not, once again, not too much. Um, the highlighting on terrain is something that uh, I wish more people would just get out of their head. It's not the same as when you're doing it on modeling. Um, now, obviously, if the if it's a diorama, well, that's that's a different thing altogether. You know, you, you're looking for the landscape to be very out there, um, you know, and, and to be the base of this. This this a uh, you know this is not that. We're we're gaming on this all the time. The model should still be the star. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyways, um, I'll let you guys watch me fumble around here, uh, put posters up, and uh, then we're gonna be doing some uh, glow-in-the-dark graffiti. And then after that, oh boy, you know what it's time for. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'll be back. can't say enough about what Carl does for me. Friggin' awesome dude. So anyways, up next is oil paint time. Yeah, with this one, um, we're gonna be doing the oils just a little bit differently. Um, I'm really going thin again. Uh, uh, the other thing is, we're not actually going to be doing a wipe. Um, we're going to be getting the darks to the dark and the lights to the light. Um, I'll be doing some mixing on this on the piece itself. 
Um, no powders, so we're not really going to be mimicking rust on this too much. I'm looking for more of a watery, rotting kind of a thing. Um, as you can see, the fluorescence and everything are starting to get um, a bit of detail as we're putting this on here. Um, a little later on, we're going to be dabbing on colors. Um, I'm going to be mixing. I'm also going to be mixing in the sump. But one of the things I'm finding when I, you know, when I go really high on spirits like this is all of the extra kind of goes down to where, you know, it's kind of supposed to be. Um, really just loving this journey, learning how to use oil paints um, on models. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, one of the things that you do have to remember is you really don't want to judge what this looks like when it's wet. Um, I was taking a lot of pictures when I was first year using these oils. Um, uh, wet paint pictures. Oh yeah, look at the texture that picked up right there. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to do a wipe on this one. Um, first time for that. But uh, yeah, the, the first time that I'd be showing pictures, you know, was right after I put the paint on. And it's really funny how, because this stuff takes such a long time to dry, um, it, the, the color underneath really comes back out. And um, it's, it's surprising how the shading and the lighting really works. I really liked it how this piece was. Um, instead of you know ending in the powders on this, I really got back to ending on my end sprays, which is the next part coming up. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys watch me work here. Um, and yeah, when we get to the dabbing points, it's basically just what I normally, now I'm mixing a little bit more spirits on this. Um, one of the things without wiping um, the, the excess spirits on this, um, this paint mixed a heck of a lot easier um, and a heck of a lot more easy to feather. Um, it, it's, yeah, I, I'm going to keep exploring this, this type of thing on my pieces. Uh, it was, you know, when you're doing models, you want to, you know, obviously highlight and highlight and highlight and highlight and highlight and then you kind of work on the shadows and even everything out um, oil's a little different than that this is more along the lines of if we're gonna pop all of these you know dots of color uh, you can see it it's starting to spread already because um, it's pretty much going in uh, a heavy dose of uh, spirits um, but as I, as I, yeah, see, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna add a brown to it. Um, and like I said, I'm going for a rotting look here, uh, more than anything. This thing is underneath the sump, just as much as it is above the sump. Um, that, that's how I kind of see it. Now, obviously, um, you gotta let your brain do a little bit of work here because those crates and all that stuff that would obviously you know, be floating at some point because I gotta think there's some kind of current happening down in the underneath the water um but you know maybe not I don't know in this spot maybe not you know we, we can we can you know we're making this up as we go along so we can we can make any storyline work that we want on this um yeah, and here we go. We're going to be adding the brown on top here, and then we're going to be feathering in with uh, another clean brush that we're not cleaning in spirits. We're simply wiping off um, on a T-shirt. Yeah, here we go. And it's really funny because the blending, because that's what this is. This is blending. Um, it looks a lot different wet than it does dry, and I can only give you so much advice as far as how to take that. A lot of painting with oil paint is trust that it's going to do what it's, you know, what you want it to do. Um, I do know that at some point um, my skills are going to grow to a, 
to a level that I'm going to be highlighting with oil paint. Um, I'm not there yet. And the truth is, I, it, it seems like too much work on these pieces. I'm already putting quite a bit of <laughs> detail work on these things. Um, but anyways, I'll let you watch me do this for a little bit, and then I'll be back. is a I, I kind of set this piece up it, it's a little harder to see than I wanted it to be um, but this is really an important part um, you know not just terrain either but modeling um, it's you know at this point I'm using a contrasting color darkened down with black um, the main colors I have on here are green which is nice because the contrast to that is uh, indigo, which is purple with black to it. And we're just going in the lower spots. This is a really, uh, you know, is it necessary? Well, it's necessary for me. Is it really necessary for, you know, other modelers and things like that? You know, you don't need to do it. This is an extra step. Um, yeah, here we go. We're going to upgrade the sump just a little bit with my favorite paint um, one of the things that's not in here is I'm going to be uh, yeah, right now I'm pretty much just upping the sump um, some of that mixture I did with the oils on the sump itself you know they're, they're going to get filled in here this is just really light green ink oh there we go that's a final spin yeah, but really like green ink, just thin down. Um, it's consecutive coats built up. So, yeah, it was too big for my table to go across, so I had to set it up this way. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty exciting. Uh, when I get the rest of the wall, when I get this on a table for the rest of the wall, it's going to be really cool. But anyways, here's a walkthrough. Thanks so much again for stopping by, you guys. Here's another video you guys should probably take a look at. Uh, these all go together. It was in this little walkthrough we had here. Um, we're getting close. 
you guys with this one being done. Um, I appreciate you so much for stopping by. And as always, please like and subscribe.